Where are we? <laughs> I don't know. We do better to ask the horses. They know. They're blind. Sure am. But the horses know the way. But don't worry. I can see you, Ragnar Lothbrok. I can see you. <laughs> when will we reach King Ellis? Not until tomorrow. It will be at least another day before I am put to death. You and your gods are wrong. You see, I guided my fate. I fashioned the course of my life and my death. Me. Not you, not the gods. Me. This was my idea. To come here to die. You believe that? So it is true to you? Ah, the riddles you speak. They have no real meaning. Your words can be interpreted in so many ways that they cease to cause comfort or knowledge, but rather confusion. Your so-called prophecies are dangerous. How so? By telling Lagatha that she would never have another child, yet she got pregnant. But then, because of your words, she put her unborn baby in danger. So what if she didn't hear your words? What if she thought her baby would survive? She would have rested and protected it. And now maybe she would be the proud mother of a healthy child. Something she always wanted more than anything. So you presented her a destiny. And she manifested it. Perhaps it was her fate to have the child perish in exactly the way it did. But what if it wasn't? What if it was? I don't believe in the gods' existence. Man is the master of his own fate, not the gods. The gods are man's creation to give answers that they are too afraid to give themselves. You may be right, Ragnar Lothbrok. I am only the seer. I have walked among the lowest of the dead, and I have groped for meaning. And I may have been wrong. What did you say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> 